Hi guys, it's Fufu here. We are back for the last part of the Gengar session. We are now with Mega Gengar. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I hope it's been like interesting, something a little bit different, seeing different tiers and stuff. We're now in the Ubers tier, a tier that I'm actually relatively confident in compared to the others. And uh, this is this team isn't great. It's definitely not great because I don't really have that much bulk on it. But it does show off Mega Gengar doing his thing, so that's why I'm using it this time. Um, basically, uh, Mega Gengar obviously has a Shadow Tag ability, so you can trap things, and this team utilizes that to destroy counters for sweepers. So I've got Geomancy Xerneas and I've got Extreme Killer Arceus, and. Mega Gengar is there to get rid of their counters and what makes that easier is I've got two Scarfers with the Volt turn so that I can get a free switch into my Mega Gengar easier so I can then get rid of the counter and then proceed to sweep. That's the idea anyways. I do have a Klefki as well just for opposing Xerneas which is always a problem. But yeah, other than that, I'll give this team a go. I'm having, I've been having a bit of trouble fighting a proper Ubers battle, if you know what I mean. There's been a lot of OU or then people trying Ubers but actually not being very good at it yet. So I'll try and get a battle and I'll see you when I get one. Okay, so we've got a battle against someone. Hopefully they know what they're doing. The number of shinies is slightly off-putting, but we will power through and just pray. I have had so many battles where people are just dicking around with non-Ubers teams. It's really annoying. Uh, so let's try something. He's gonna lead with this. I'm gonna lead with this. Please don't be a scarf sleep setter because that would be really annoying. He's got a cool team though. I'd have to give him that. It is a pretty cool team because he's got these two basically. Basically, when you bring anything that's not OU to OU, I mean, not Ubers to Ubers, it's pretty cool. He does leave with a dark cry. What a surprise! That was not expected at all. Oh, you've got a stash, have you? <laughs> I could have gone with... No, I could see... Nah, that would not have been a good play. Uh, he doesn't have his own thing, so I can go into this. And that can get dark voided. And then I could just go into my Xerneas here. Although it's too early to sweep. No, there's no point in that. There's no point in that. So... Uh, let's just go into this guy again. He goes for the nasty plot. That was not a good play because actually anything that I switched into, it's probably a good, good uh, stop to that. So I can take that out and then go into Zekrom. And he won't expect this thing to be Scarf because my last thing was Scarf. So that's pretty cool. And this guy is base 90, so if he brings in Kyoga. That's not, he won't bring in Kyogre basically because if, even if he's Scarf, well, he might, if he's Scarf, he might bring it in, but then it's a speed tie. Um, Entei, he won't bring that in. Kyurem, he won't bring that in. Duratina is a good play because I can't take it out from there, so I'm just going to Volt Switch out and go into. What shall I go into? Well, if I take this out, then. Extreme killing can happen, so I could go into this. Although, wait, wait. Oh, I can't trap it anyways. Can't trap it anyways. And I think it's made the move anyway. Just a bit of lag, really. I won't. I might not be able to take it out with the moon blast from there. Probably not. This thing is ridiculous bulk. I'm going to get the bulk up, like the data, up because data to a Tina. No dragon tail for you. Me here, 150, 120, 120. That is just stupid bulk. So let's moon blast here. Do loads of damage. As you thunder wave. I'm not too bothered because I'm not planning on sweeping with this thing right here. I'm just planning on getting damage on. He don't really have a switch in. Do you even have anything to take me out nicely? I don't understand that play because it. Oh. Let's just. Let's just. Uh, Moon Blast here. Oh, I should. I could just. Geomancy. No, let's just Moon Blast. Okay, he's going to the Kyogre. Ah! Ah! The most annoying thing. Uh, I can sack Klefki because he doesn't have another Sleep Inducer, so let's do that. Go to the Water Spout. That obviously is going to take the out. Now I can go into Zekrom and go for a Bolt Strike. Or a Volt Switch. I'll go for a Volt Switch because I'll be able to nerf his 
Okay, he stays in because he didn't think that I was Scarf, but I am Scarf. Mm, don't really have a switch in though, because I want this to be a good health if I'm going to sweep. So, ah, what am I going to take out this with? This is going to be a problem now. I've got two things to hit it super effectively. So let's go to Stag Party. Might be able to take the hits now. Uh, nope, it's a Specs one. It is Specs. Speckety Deck. Okay, uh, that's annoying that I got all the powers because this would be dead already, Stag Party would be really happy, and we'd go from there. But no, I got two powers and I'm gonna complain about them because they've changed the game. I can go into this and Volt Switch again though because if I Volt Switch again his water spell will be pitiful damage, so that's fine. And I can go into... Okay, so he is Scarf. He is Scarf. That is good knowledge. And now I want to go into Arceus. And hopefully... Oh no, he's got this still. I'm going to Swords Dance. Or I could just Shadow Claw. Mmm! Swords Dance. I didn't get... Oh, I didn't get another Moonblast off on him either. That would have been great. Yeah, good damage. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't get the Willow. That's good damage. Don't get the Willow. Don't get the Willow. Don't get the Willow. Okay, that's fine. That's alright. That's alright. I've done the damage now. And... Uh, what do I want to do? I want to U-turn. I know that's what I want to do. I know that's what I want to do. I'm just going to Iron Head because he wants to wake up. Flinch? No. Rest. Okay, and I can kill him this turn. I can kill him this turn, but he might switch into the Entei. But if he stays in, he's just going to... No, I'm going to Iron Head because I need to get rid of it. And once that's gone, now I can sweep if he brings his Kyogre in again. Although he's got a Hydro, he won't lock himself into Water Spout again, so I won't get that easy setup. Uh, I can kill the Kyogre from there. I can... He goes into the Entei. Um... I don't have an easy switch in on this, so my best thing to do is maybe to sack sexy time. Is that a bad play? Yeah, yeah. Leaves me open to him sweeping with his Arceus, really. Is that what's more important, Zekrom or sexy time? Um, hmm, I don't know. Sexy time probably is more important. Is it? Outrage would. Out, outrage is a really nice thing. Outrage is a really nice thing. But he's at more health. Oh, the indecision! No! Yeah, let's go to that problem. Because he might even live a hit if he goes to the fire attack. Go to the fire attack. Don't get burned. I can easily live that, to be fair. Um, it doesn't look like he's banded, though. So I'm just going to go straight for an outrage. So he goes to the protect. I'm going for an outrage. Go for another outrage. And nothing switched in. He best play is going into Kyogre here. Okay, he lets the Entei take the damage. Ooh, that's not what he should have done. That's not what he should have done. Nope, nope, nope. Right, so Gengar can come in now. Go for the Shadow Ball. And he can do things. Protect. No point in protecting now. You are dead. You've just made yourself trapped, so there's actually zero point at all in doing that. You couldn't have scouted because you can't do anything about it anyway. Arceus Dark. Shall I just Destiny Bond you? Let's just Destiny Bond you. Yes! Ah! Ha! That's why Gengar's so good, because he couldn't have done anything else there either. If I had taunted him, then he would have been stuck in having to go for an attack, so he would have died anyway. And now I can go into sexy time, depending on what he knocks himself, uh, what he goes into. Or U turn, or no, I could just iron head everything, probably. So this team has worked, and this was a proper Uber's team as well. It wasn't <laughs> shitty stuff that I found before. So that was good. He goes into the QM, I get a special attack raise. Okay. Uh, I still kind of just want to go for the iron head, because. I'm pretty sure an E-Speed will kill from wherever I need it to. So, and I'm not even sure he can kill me with anything. 
unless he has a random HP fire, but he probably doesn't. And that's over half. He flinches. Don't think that matters though, because I think I'd just clean up anyway. And this does outspeed this. I'm base 99, he's base 90 scarf, so GG. GG. So the team worked kind of how it was meant to. Um, I'll try and get another one to see if I can make it work again, maybe. This guy's got a really cool team just because he has a Mega Guard Bar, and I love Mega Guard Bar. So, what's he gonna lead with? Maybe the Pharaoh, although that is also his Xerneas counter. So, that wouldn't be very wise, although I have HP Fire on it anyway, so I think I can probably sweep with that. The only thing I want to do is get rid of the Arceus um, so that I have an easier time. Uh, so I don't have to take any e-speeds or anything like that. That's what I want to do. Um, does Sludge Bomb from Mega Gar kill a Mega Gardevoir? Because I know Mega Gardevoir has really good special defense. I don't know. He might lead with this to be fair. This outspeeds that. So let's go with Genesect. As he leads with the Zekrom. And so he'll get a switch initiative. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn. Yeah. That was reasonably okay. So what I'm going to do now is go into my own Zekrom because he doesn't have a ground type. I think that was the best play. If you go to the Bolt Strike, that would have done nothing anyway. And now I'm going to Volt Switch out as he probably sw hard switches out. Um, yeah. So what would he go into? Maybe the Guard of War to take the attack, but then with the Volt Switch damage, I'm thinking, what is my special attack? 277, it's all right. With the Volt Switch damage, he goes into Pharaoh. Okay, that's an interesting play. Could go into Sexy Time, or I could use Gengar for what it's meant for. In fact, yeah, I'm doing that now, because I've got HP Fire on this as well. So he might be able to take me out though. Should be a bit annoying. But I can get damage on and then my Xerneas just kills it anyway. So let's hope that I can do big damage with this guy. He might switch out. How much damage? Oh, you just take it out! Yes! Mega Gengar! Oh my god! <laughs> Too much power. I could Destiny Bond here. Yeah, because Shadow Ball's not going to kill. He's got the Shadow Tag, but obviously I can switch out because I'm a ghost. So I might just Destiny Bond right here. <laughs> nope. No. No. <laughs> You're trapped and you're going to die, basically, is how it's going to go. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. Yep, okay, so there goes your Mega Guard War as well. That's a nice dent in the team. Uh, we're going to go into Sexy Time again because we go. It just gives me an opportunity to see what he wants to go into. So he's gone into Palkia. I'm going to U turn and he's. Probably gonna go either for the water or the fire type move. In which case, I could go into. In which case, I can just go into. I don't know! Ah. I kind of want to go into key. Kind of want to go into the key. No. I'll go into Zekrom. As he goes, T wave. Wow. Well, that went, that went way better than I thought it could. Uh, I'm gonna go for an outrage right here. Take out the Palkia. He wasn't expecting the scarf, maybe, or maybe he wasn't expecting the scarf. Probably wasn't, because I've already shown the scarf Genesect. So, yeah. And he goes into his own Zekrom. I'm locked into Outrage, so this is a speed tie. His Outrage goes first, but... Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! You should have Dragon Clawed! You should have Dragon Clawed. Uh, you've just doomed yourself, mate. So that's what Mega Gengar does. He takes out things and then allows for Sweepy Poos. As he's poisoned though! As he's poisoned though, I can take whatever he wants to go for. He might roll me out or something. But... I'm still useful if he does roll me out. That's good damage. I'm gonna be able to take him out. Oh no. Oh, the min max is real. Raw, he does have the raw. Okay, so that was cool. That was his stop to that. Uh, 
I need to E speed here in case he has the oh fuck. Okay. Oh! Oh! I should have I should have earthquake. Why did I not earthquake? Uh I don't know. It's just extreme speed again. Maybe I was I don't know. I don't know. That burn it, that burn didn't matter too much because I still have a full health Xerneas that can take on both of his other things. So yeah. I don't think that mattered too much. I'd have killed that anyway, just got a bit more damage and wouldn't be able to hit the next thing very much, but he doesn't have a setup mon, so the fact that getting this burn wasn't a big deal. So now he goes into the Zekrom, I'm just going to go for the... I'm going to go for the EQ, because, okay, he gets the crit, that's not fun, uh, that's really unfun. We can go into Lucky now and go for a play rough and live one right. 218 defense, is that enough? I don't know. I can play rough this uh, Eveltal. I can T-wave this Eveltal. And get up a light screen as well. And then I could actually just, uh, I can actually just set up again with my Xerneas, even though obviously, well, there's no point, because I can just take out the Eveltal now. And then, presumably take out the this guy the Zekrom as well I do I really like Klefki I know in I like the swag key set it's just the bitch that's just the horriblest thing that was created in Gen 6 but the this in Ubers is so good like he really stands up against the power the powerhouses uh, that's I didn't even need that but that is fine because my outspeed, I just need the damage really, and I outspeed with sexy time, so he can come in and just go for an ice beam. GG. That was a really good game though. Um, just to, I, especially good because I could show off what Mega Guard is. Oh, I love him. That I don't think that that Ferrothorn Ferith, uh, was invested in special defense. So it, because he had the Arceus poison, it was pretty obvious that the Ferrothorn was just there to get up hazards. And probably more as an Arceus, an, an extreme killer Arceus counter. Um, so yeah, that was, anyway, that was cool. I really enjoyed that one. Hope you enjoyed this Meet the Fam series. I think, I don't know, I like, I like the idea. What I like is being able to play lots of different tiers and it's forcing me to do more team building as well. This actually has taken a lot of effort because I've had to make four different teams in four different tiers. So it's taken a bit of time. But I hope you guys have appreciated the effort and I hope you guys enjoy this and I'm I'm also looking forward to doing more of these. You guys have suggested some really cool Pokemon families to look at so um, I can definitely do more of this. I think it's, it's going to be quite a regular thing because showdown sessions but with a purpose and different tiers as well so it doesn't get stale. So all that's left to be said, I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, hopefully see you next time, bye.